A longitudinal wave has vibrations parallel to the direction of energy transfer. Okay, so the wave is represented by this graph right here showing displacement against distance. So I need to know what we're looking at. Okay, underline this if you did not. Displacement, distance. It's like you are going to take a picture of the wave. So what are they asking for? Which point is a compression, center of compression? So in longitudinal waves, you have compression and rarefactions. Okay, kind of have to remember how long, longitudinal waves look like. It's like kind of like my hands here, but they only move side by side. Okay, so that's how they move side by side, left, right, left, right. Uh, transverse wave, on the other hand, move up and down. So, you know, like this. But that is long, uh, transverse wave. We're looking at longitudinal wave. So where is the compression based on this graph? Oh, let's take a close look. Now, if you notice, it might be a bit hard to imagine right away what is happening. So what you could do, though, is help your brain out with some drawings. Okay, so distance from source. I'm going to imagine there is a speaker here giving out some sound causing a disturbance in the air. So we have all these points, A, B, C, D. Okay, let's just draw these dots down. These are where the particles should be at equilibrium position. Okay, so imagine like if there were no sound waves, I would draw the dots like this. If there's, if there's no wave, huh, then particle, 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 particle if no disturbance or no wave. They're all just chilling there in equilibrium position. But now if you notice, all the particles are going to have a displacement either towards the source or away from the source. So I'm going, it looks like away from the source is positive. So you look everything above the origin, positive, that's away. Towards the source is negative because it's below the x-axis. So. Let's call that negative. Okay, so how we draw these points? Now, pay close attention. The first point, zero, is at zero displacement. So if I draw that as a point here, it's going to be right here. Okay, now let's look at A. Particle A is away from the source. So it will be something like this. A little bit away. To the right. Okay, to the right of where it's originally supposed to be. Then you have particle B right in the middle. Okay. Particle C, oh, it's negative now, but towards the source. So something like this. Particle D right at the middle. Particle, I guess if you want to call this E. Sure, let's, let's keep going. Particle E is, where is this? Away from the source. So kind of like this. Moving away. And particle F at this point. Okay. So I know it's kind of hard to see like what is going on, but you can add some more arrows. If this is going away from the source, you can kind of draw this fella doing this. It's moving, it's kind of away from the source. Then B is here, C is towards. So this, this fella went this way. D is just chilling at the display, uh, at equilibrium position. E is away. F is in position. I guess if you draw for G as well, then this will be right here. Okay. And then this particle will be heading towards this side right there. So from here, you can see like, oh, there's something happening. These regions of compression are this one here. Okay. And if there was answer F, you would choose there as well. So these are compression. So the center of compression would be right there in that middle particle. So that is the answer, compression. So just imagine all these particles are just oscillating left and right and there will be places where the particle is squashed. When they are squashed, we call that compression. So that is this question. Hopefully that was helpful in imagining. Go and Google search some animated GIFs to see how longitudinal waves look like and you have an idea of how to imagine these particles getting displaced left and right. That's all for this question. See you in the next one.